The next thing for us to talk about are transaction processing systems, TPS, TPS. And if you ever watch the movie Office Space or if you watch that trailer, you'll know, you'll recall that in that movie, the manager is often saying, yeah, so if you could give you that TPS report right now, that would be great. Uh, so what are TPS? What is a transactional processing system? And uh, basically, you know, it's a system for processing transactions. <laughs> and uh, a lot of times that's like a point of sale. Point of sale, you know, is the best example. Uh, uh, you know, check out line, right? Check out line. Right, so point of sale is the best example of kind of like a TPS system because if you look at modern transaction processing systems in retail, also known as point of sale, right? Point of sale, whatever, point of sale, POS, they just call them point of sale. Uh, if you look at that, how has that changed over the years, that entire transaction processing system? And, um, you know, back in the day, uh, my neighbor used to work at Safeway and, and he, uh, or my neighbor's dad, right? The guy who lived across the street, he was a professional, you know, cash register guy and he worked a cash register and that's what he did. And there's a couple of problems with that system. One, uh, you have the problem for human data entry error. So if you have a human kind of like, what's the price on this can? And then they type in a dollar thirty nine, right? They might accidentally type the wrong numbers. Plus, if a human's doing it, then they might be like, "Well, you're my friend. I'm just going to type the thirty nine. I'm not going to type the dollar." And uh, and so when you have a human kind of typing in each one, that's slower, and there's a greater chance for error, and there's also a greater chance for fraud. And so what they invented were barcodes, right? And then also those little scanning things. So now. You went from having to pay somebody who was skilled and therefore would require a higher wage because they could do the cash register really quickly. You went from having to pay somebody more money because they were skilled to you could hire the completely lowest wage, lowest skilled person. And all they have to be able to do is like take something and run it over a scanner and hear the beep, right? When the barcode is read by the little red lasers, there's the beep, and then the price automatically gets added to what the person is purchasing, what the customer is purchasing. That was a great innovation. That's a transaction processing system. It's allowing the transaction to be processed more efficiently. Not only that, uh, the TPS system could also be like, okay, we just sold another clock. We used to have a hundred of these in inventory, but because we just sold one, now we can we can decrement our inventory one item down to 99. We only have 99 in inventory. And so it allowed stores to keep track of inventory even more effectively. Not only that, when we get down to like 10, we only have 10 left, we could have our, our computer automatically place an order with the supplier so that those uh, new clocks arrive just when we're running out of room on the, just when we're running out of them on the shelves, right? And so as soon as we're about to run out, we get a whole new supply and we put them on the shelves. And of course, our software could determine, right, if it takes, you know, how long does it take to get the item from the supplier? How fast are they selling? At what rate are they selling? Selling? So what day are we going to run out? And if it takes, you know. If we're going to run out in four days and it takes four days for it to get here from the supplier, then that optimal order point would be determined by the computer so they know when, when to order uh, to restock our shelves. So that's a really great example of a transaction processing system, a TPS system. Um, and that really, you know, when we talked about this organizational hierarchy, you can see that the TPS system really applies to people at the lower level of the organization. Because, you know, frontline employees are the ones who are processing the transactions. So that's where the TPS system is used or who it's used by within the organizational hierarchy, right? The checkout clerks or, you know, uh, sometimes management might be looking at the data from that. The management information system pulls data from the TPS system and will provide like a report to the managers. This is what sales were like yesterday in the store. Um, this is an exception report. You notice here's an exception to what's normally sold. We've been selling a lot of whatever umbrellas yesterday. Oh, well, that's because it rained, right? But that's out of the ordinary, so it'll stand out, right, as part of one of the exception reports. So that's TPS software. Um, you know, there's a lot of acronyms uh, in business. And so, 
uh, I'm going to come back to that in one second. We'll look at that right at the end. If I Google transaction processing system or software, you know, uh, we get point of sale as one of the categories that comes up. We get retail as another category that comes up. Payroll, payroll, TPS, other categories, business. I thought this diagram right here is a pretty cool diagram. I think, yeah, there, I brought it up right there. Because here you can see somebody capturing the order. You can see the order being processed. You can see inventory kind of being decreased. You can see shipping as part of this entire transaction. You can see the orders being tracked. You can see that it's, you know, pulling something out of a catalog. Like this is the thing that's being, you know, done. So that would be like, you know, that's a good little description there. Some of the stuff that's going on with transaction processing. Um, yeah, and when I also looked at like some of the other images that came up, a lot of retail stuff here, you could see that, you know, uh, Square, which I've pointed out before, right? Square, which allows anybody to accept credit cards anywhere. Square. It's called Square Up. Is that what it's called? Oh, I thought it was just called Square. So uh, Square, you know, allows anybody to start processing transactions, credit card transactions, and keep track of those transactions. So that's, you know, a new thing in transaction processing systems. And uh, there's, there's competitors out there who will also allow you to do this now, too, of course. Um, what else? Anything else stand out when I was looking at TPS? My son is crying. Luckily, my wife is here, so he's being taken care of. Um, uh, just, you know, again, we're starting to see some of this organizational hierarchy chart because this is the way it's normally talked about in these types of classes where we, we have TPS, MIS, ES, DSS, EIS. And then I thought this was an interesting organizational hierarchy chart right here where it kind of lays it out a little bit more. And in the organization, you have sales and marketing, you have manufacturing and production, you have finance and accounting, you have human resources, plus a lot more. Uh, depending upon the organization. And within each of these categories, right, there's the low-level employees within human resources, the low-level employees within finance accounting, the middle management levels within each of these categories, the top management levels in each of these categories. And then you have transaction processing systems, uh, which can be used in any or all of these categories and be applicable and tailored to each of those categories. You have decision support systems, management information systems, executive support systems, right? And, uh, and this also points out what does the top level management do? They're more in charge of strategy. Uh, the, you know, and strategy be like, where do we want to be in five years, 10 years? What direction is the company going? The bottom level is more about operation. You know, they're not worried about where's the company going in five or 10 years of trying to guide it. They're more about what's the company doing today? What do I need to do? Right. OK, load this stuff, sell that stuff. Um, and then, uh, you know, these are some of the other things here that these different levels do. So just kind of interesting to point out. All right. Uh, last thing I was going to say here is that when we start talking about this stuff, it's kind of like acronym hell. Here are some of the main ones. Business intelligence, we've already hit. Customer relationship management, we've already hit. You also hear about enterprise resource planning business process management, supply chain management, enterprise content management. You can pause this video right here and read about those other categories if you'd like. Okay, let you pause it. And then we have even more acronyms. So again, we've looked at customer relationship management, but then there's like electronic data interchange, a set of standards used to exchange data between different companies and organizations, enterprise resource planning, you know, uh, MSRP, manufacturer suggested retail price, um, you know, OEM, original equipment manufacturer. So a company that manufactures equipment that will be rebranded and sold by other companies. Sometimes it refers to the reseller as well. Return on investment, right? Uh, so there's just like a lot of acronyms in business. And uh, in fact, here's like a list of computing and IT acronyms and it's really long. CRM, customer relationship management. If we scroll all the way down to the T's, we will find, see a lot. TP, 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 no TPS, no TPS. Interesting. All right, no big deal. All right, so that's transaction processing system. What you should take away is uh, TPS software just kind of refers to processing transactions. Uh, how do you process transactions more effectively, more efficiently? Retail is a great example of it with its point of sale terminals, POS terminals. 
And, uh, and generally speaking, within an organizational hierarchy, it's the lower level employees who are working with TBS software. So uh, not essential to know about, uh, not like CRM software. That's like hands-on practical. You could use that in your life. This is just kind of more like uh, the category is kind of like good theory to know about. And also, if you do ever go into business, you know, something to think about like, oh, there's Square out there, which allows me to accept credit card transactions. Or I'm sure you've seen a lot of restaurants recently or taqueria kind of smaller restaurants using uh, iPads to keep track of orders and bill clients and things like that when they order food. All right. So that's TPS software.